look at her. She is just straight chilling, having a nap, not a care in the world. Can, hi, I'm just, I'm just saying hello. Look at all these yummy blueberries. I think we'll start out with a couple, with three. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Hi, girl. She's like, I'm like petting her with it. She's like falling asleep to the blueberry in her face. If she says no to this pellet, something is wrong. What is up everyone and welcome back to another episode. Guys, I just got back from the Bahamas yesterday and all I can say is, is holy crap, all the support you guys been showing me is just mind blowing. It is absolutely insane. We are just about to hit 66,000 subscribers in a few minutes probably and it's crazy. I've only been on YouTube since April and I never thought I would be doing this. You know, it took a lot of encouragement from my friends to get on here, but I'm doing it now and it's amazing. So I just wanna say thank you to each and every one of you guys that are watching my videos, subscribing. I love all of you guys. But anyways, for today's video, I'm gonna be hanging out with some of my animals. I've been a little bit distant the past week since I have been out of the country in the Bahamas. So I'm gonna get my albino iguana out and I'm gonna bring her on the patio or inside, haven't decided yet and I'm gonna be hand feeding her some blueberries, some fruits, it's gonna be awesome guys. But before we do that, I wanna give all of you guys a little update on the animals here. There's a lot of crazy stuff happening, so I just wanna show all of you guys that now. So the first thing that I wanna give all of you guys an update on is the above ground turtle pond. So a couple weeks ago, I set it up, and this pond is doing absolutely amazing. You can see the plants are starting to flourish, they're starting to reproduce, the turtles are absolutely loving it. And take a look who's peeking. We have a beautiful little spotted turtle. Don't be scared, little guy. So we are headed over to the rhino iguanas right now. They've been having some nesting activity. So I suspect in the next week or two, we are going to have some beautiful rhino iguana eggs from at least one of the girls, maybe not the other one, but at least one of them. So we are gonna go check that out right now. Look at her belly. I know I've been saying it for a while that she's full of eggs, but she's pretty angry that I'm in here. Can you be nice for a second? Can we be friends? I'm not gonna go in your territory, it's okay. It's okay, girl. But if you look, there's been some nesting activity. So I have screen right there so they can't burrow out of the cage. But anyways, she was actually just in here about five minutes ago. You can see her head is all black, full of dirt. And she's trying to find the perfect spot to lay her eggs. So later on today, I'm sure she'll be back. You can see she's been kicking all the dirt up there. And I'm hoping that she's gonna lay some beautiful eggs. Last year, she laid 12 fertile eggs. So I'm hoping this year she's gonna lay at least 12, maybe up to 20. It would be absolutely incredible if she does that. And then we have Luna right there, my favorite girl. She is gonna be laying eggs as well. She laid 12 infertiles last year, but hopefully they'll be fertile this year. And here we are, we are going to see my albino iguana now, the one that we are going to be hanging out with today. And I'm gonna show you her right now. Look at her, she is just straight chilling, having a nap, not a care in the world. Can, hi, I'm just, I'm just saying hello. And so we're gonna go head over to Publix right now. We're gonna get some blueberries and we're gonna bring her in the house and feed her. Guys, we have made it to Publix now. We gotta go inside with blueberries for this iguana. We have made it into Publix and we gotta walk around because we gotta find the blueberries and there's the produce section right there. Guys, we have the eye on the prize and look at that. Two for five on these blueberries. I don't mind if I do. Guys, we secured the blueberries. We didn't use a plastic bag for it either just because we don't use single-use plastics here. Horrible for the environment. Say no to single-use plastics. Yes, I know these are in a single-use plastic container, but I have no choice. We made it back from Publix. We got our blueberries right here. All we gotta do is we gotta rinse them off in the sink. We don't want our lizards to be eating any pesticides, chemicals, or whatever kind of nasty stuff might be on these blueberries. We're gonna rinse these nice and good, make sure, and I just spilled water everywhere. This thing is angled weird. Wait, 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 oh my gosh, I just totally wet the sink. Okay, wait, turn it on. Why is it working perfect? All right, we got the blueberries nice and clean. So, oh, oh, oh. They almost just fell on the floor. But anyways, guys, we gotta test them. We gotta make sure that they're not poisonous. All right, they are good to go. We're gonna go get this iguana now. Hello, pretty girl. Can you come with me? Oh, wow, she's coming right out. Come on. All right, we got her out. She's a little bit, where are you going? Where do you think you're going? I don't know where you are going. She's like having a spaz attack. Can you relax? Okay. So we're gonna go feed this girl right now. They got the blueberries nice and clean. I'm gonna have some good quality bonding time with the iguana. So whenever I bring her out, I actually like to put her here on this hammock. 
This is her favorite spot to hang out. So I'm just gonna let her hang out there. You enjoying that girl? I'm so glad. Just look at the colors though. I mean, this is probably the prettiest lizard you can own in my opinion. I mean, look at this. This is just like, it's like literally a banana. And what, you're instantly going to sleep? Really? Are you serious? Instantly going to sleep, that's not okay. We gotta get you a snack. Look at all these yummy blueberries. I think we'll start out with a couple, with three. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Hi, girl. I'm gonna mush it open for her some. Hey, do you wanna eat some? Girl, girl, what you looking at? You wanna eat a blueberry? No? She's like, I'm like petting her with it. She's like falling asleep to the blueberry in her face. What, what is this? What is wrong with you? Guys, so this girl right here, she did not wanna eat when she was sitting on the chair. So we're going to try now with her on my arm and I'm hoping she wants to eat. She's being a little bit, you know, it's an animal. I can't force her to do anything that she doesn't wanna do. So right now, since she is an albino, they, you know, they don't see very well with their eyes. So she doesn't really see what I'm doing right now. Come on. Oh, that was tasty, wasn't it? Guys, so she did not want the blueberry, so I went inside and I got a piece of watermelon. How unappreciative are you? I just went to the store and spent $5 to get you some blueberries. So anyways, we're gonna try this watermelon right now. I don't know what is up with this girl right now. Normally she'll eat blueberries, she'll eat watermelon. She's not wanting anything, but you wanna know what? I think that I can find something for her to eat. I think she's going to want to eat a Missouri pellet. She never, ever, ever refuses one of those. So I don't know what's up with her. I think she's kind of basking in the sun right now. It has been rainy all day. You can see it's just starting to clear up, but I just want you to eat. Come on. You want to take a bite? You want to smell it? It's yummy. It's tasty. Guys, she doesn't want the watermelon either. So you know what? We're gonna go get some Missouri pellets. Here we have the Missouri pellets. We are almost out. This is a diet that I feed most of my animals. Pretty much all the leaf eaters, I feed it to them. You know, about twice a week, I'll mix it in with the greens. The one thing that we don't do is we don't feed it to them hard. We actually soak it in water. You can see that little iguana can't get through that. So we got some water here in this dish. We're gonna let this soak around, get nice and soft. And hopefully she's in the mood. We have her right out there. She's being a picky girl. So I'm hoping she's gonna eat this. I'm almost 90% sure she will. What are you doing? What are you thinking? You can't climb that. You can't, that's impossible. Look at her. She's trying to climb the pole, but it's impossible. There's no traction, it's slippery. Are you trying to climb the pole? Yeah. I know, it's a hard life being an iguana. It's a very hard life, but you're enjoying, oh, you like the head scratches? No. You can't climb there, I'm sorry, but if you could, I'd let you, but it is just, it's impossible for you to climb that. We got these pellets nice and soft and ready to go. Look at them nice and mushy for this iguana. So I'm almost 100% positive that she is going to eat it. If she says no to this pellet, something is wrong. No? Are you serious? Are you kidding? We got her down here right now to eat this Missouri, and if she says no to it, then I don't know. Oh, wait. Oh, you want it. I know you want it. Ah! Eat it. Eat it. Come on. She can't see very well. She's literally blind. She's like half blind. She's like 90% blind. So when she goes to eat, like, I'll be holding it here, but she'll bite like all the way over here. Come on, pretty girl. Pretty girl. I got some food for you. Oh! Oh, and that one hit the floor. Guys, I don't know what is up with this girl. Normally she's an amazing eater. I don't know if it's because it's been raining all day long, but it's still really hot. I mean, I'm in a full sweat out here. I'm sweating, it is really hot. It's like 95% humidity, like 90 degrees out. So she should be eating. So I don't know what's up with her, but we're gonna find out guys. So I don't think she's gonna eat today, guys. So I want all of you guys to go comment down below why you think she's not eating. I suspect that it's because of the weather. You can see she's nice and fat. Well, she didn't eat today because of the rain, so she's not, but you can see she's got nice, thick, fat legs. She's a healthy girl. She's growing. I've had her since she was literally about this big, right here, this, this big, and now she's pretty big. Come here, girl, come on, come on. You can see how big she is now. She's getting to be a big, 
beautiful iguana. Why aren't you eating? You know, you're you're making me you got me a little worried. Oh my gosh. Ugh, those nails are gnarly. They're so sharp. Look at that. Guys, so we are going to be going to put the albino iguana back in her habitat. You know, she doesn't want to eat right now, so I'm thinking in the morning she's going to eat, but tomorrow morning I will be pinning a comment down below so all of you guys can see if she ate or not. So in the morning, I'm going to feed her first thing when I get up. So she should eat. I'm just thinking it's because of the weather. So where, wait, where are you going? All right. Here you go. Go in. Why well, she don't, she don't want to go in. Come on, girl. Get in. And she backed right out. She does not want to go in. That's actually hilarious. Ow, your claws. Do you realize how sharp your claws are? She doesn't realize how sharp her claws are. Hi. Hi. Well, you want to act like you're sleeping? Now you want to taste around? You need something? She actually tried to bite my ear a second ago. What the heck? Come on. Girl, get in, girl. Go. Go. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is absolutely crazy. All right, come on. You, you got to go. I've got things to do, people to see, places to be. So guys, that is going to end another episode here today. I hope all of you guys are enjoying my channel so far. And I just wanna say thank you again for all the support you guys have been showing me. The love has been just absolutely incredible. We did break that 66,000 subscriber mark since I started making this video. So thank you guys so much for that. So if you guys have not already, please go give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Go comment down below what you thought, why you think she's not eating. I wanna know why you think she's not eating. I think it's the weather. So if it's sunny in the morning and she eats, it was most definitely the weather. Also, guys, if you are not subscribed already, it is the first link down below. I'd love for all of you guys to be subscribed if you enjoy my content and tap that little notification bell so you'll know when I post.